we talk about anatomical terminology, it's important that we refer to that individual in anatomical position. This individual is showing us anatomical position. The body is standing erect as opposed to sitting or lying down and facing forward. The arms are at the sides and the toes are pointing forward, so the feet are parallel and the arms are facing palms front. And I know that that's not how we usually stand. Usually we stand with our palms facing the sides of our legs, but in this way, none of the bones are crossing and everything is completely flat to the front. In that position, we can use terminology to describe um, different areas of the body if we were going to diagnose that individual. So the first terms are superior and inferior. Superior means towards the head or towards the top. Um, and another term that you might hear used is cephalic. Inferior is the opposite. Inferior is towards the feet or towards the bottom. And another term that you could use that means the same thing is caudal. So we could say your head is superior to your neck. Your head is on top of your neck. Or you could say your chest is inferior to your neck. Right? My chest is below my neck. Okay? If we want to say front and back, we use the terms anterior and posterior. Anterior means towards the front, posterior means towards the back, and you might have heard your derriere called your posterior, so you can use that to think about it. Um, two other words that you can use are ventral and dorsal. Ventral is the front, same as belly side. Dorsal is the back, and I like to think of a dorsal fin on a fish. Right now, fishes aren't vertical; they're like this. But this is still the fish's back, which has the the dorsal fin. Um, so you can say the sternum, your sternum bone, is anterior to the lungs, um, and the belly button is ventral to the spinal cord. Right? Both of those mean that they are in front of the other structure. If we want to say towards the midline. We say medial, so think of medial, midline, the M's go together. Medial means towards the midline of the body. Lateral means away from the midline of the body. So those are again two opposite terms. We could say the arms are lateral to the heart, right? My arms are further away from my midline as compared to my heart. You can say the lungs are medial to the hips, right? My lungs are closer to the midline as compared to my hips. Okay? These terms we use in relationship to our limbs most of the time. So distal means farther from the point of limb attachment, and proximal means closer to the origin or point of limb attachment. So if we're talking about something on our arm or something on our leg um, in relationship to a different part, we're probably going to use the terms distal and proximal. So the elbow is proximal to the wrist. The elbow is closer to where my arm originates from the rest of my body as compared to my wrist. So I would use the term proximal. The knee is distal to the thigh. So the knee is further away from the point of attachment as compared to the thigh. So again, you're going to use distal and proximal if you're talking about your arms and your legs. This one is harder to visualize on our body, um, but you've probably heard these terms used before. Superficial means towards the surface. You may have heard of a superficial wound, maybe it just cuts the skin lightly. Um, and deep means towards the core or more internal. So again, these are two opposing terms. So you can say the skin is superficial to the kidney. My skin is closer to the surface as compared to my kidney. Um, the lungs are deep to the skin, right? My lungs are more internal, more towards the core as compared to my skin. Okay, in addition to these terms, it's important to understand the planes that can cross the body, again, to talk about the different areas of the body. So a plane is just a line that passes completely through the body in one direction, and we're gonna do three different directional planes. The first one is the sagittal plane. The sagittal plane passes vertically through the body from front to back. So basically, it can cut you down the middle. If it does that, it's called a mid-sagittal plane but it basically divides the body wherever it cuts into a right and a left section. The second one is the frontal plane or the coronal plane. This passes vertically through the body 
um, and divides into a front and back. So it would come from the top and go all the way through and divide you into a front section or a back section. Um, so the frontal, you can think, oh, I have a front section and a back section. Again, it can go right down the midline or it could be a little bit to one side or the other. The last plane is the transverse plane. This is a horizontal line that passes through the body and it divides you into a top and a bottom half. And again, this could pass at your neck, it could pass at your waist, it could pass at your knees. It, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be right in the middle of the body. It just divides it into a top and a bottom half. And here you can see all of them together. The um, sagittal plane dividing into right and left sections transverse plane dividing into top and bottom, and the frontal plane dividing into a front and a back section.